Hello. Hey, how's it going? Everything is good, thank you. And how are you? Uh, doing well, yeah. Great, and if you're ready, we can start. Yeah. Hello, dear viewers. Today, my guest is an incredible American professional golfer, Andrew Novak. Hello, Andrew. Hey, how's it going? Glad to be on here. <laughs> Thank you. And yeah, everything is good. Uh, more than two years have passed since the beginning of Russia's aggression against Ukraine. And what do you assume about this? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's sad to see kind of in today's world, um, you know, it feels like we should have, you know, kind of progressed far enough that. Um, things don't come to that. Um, it, it's, you know, I'm halfway across the world and it, it's just sad seeing the pictures of, you know, tanks rolling through the streets and, and what it's done to kind of the U Ukrainian people. Um, so ho hopefully uh, you know, everybody can come together and, um, you know, Russia stops their aggression and, and things can be resolved peacefully. And, um, you know, the Ukrainians can go back to, you know, a peaceful life. Yeah. Uh, you were born in Raleigh, North Carolina. What was your childhood like there? And can you remember the first time you visited a golf course? Yeah, we I we lived there until I was like seven years old. So it would have been before then. We had a golf course just down the street um, from our house. Uh, it was where a university uh, played there. Um, North Carolina State uh, played there. So I do know like as a young boy, probably three, four years old, my dad took me to a college golf tournament out there. Um, and that's probably one of my first times, I guess, I kind of remember uh, being out there. Uh, I didn't play a ton of golf when I lived in Raleigh, but I love the game. And then when we moved to Charleston, uh, South Carolina, that's kind of when I, I started playing a lot more and uh, practicing and committing to playing golf. Cool. You attended and graduated from the Wolford College. What would you have become if you weren't a golfer? Uh, I, I studied business economics, but I don't think that that's something I wanted to do. Um, I really love sports. So I think if golf didn't work out, I probably would have either done something with maybe coaching or tried to get something in maybe the broadcasting world. Um, but I, either way, I probably, maybe for coaching, not so much, but I probably, you know, maybe for a GA job, uh, I probably would have ended up having to go back to school. Did your parents want you to study business economics or was it your choice? No, they, um, you know, they, they were very supportive. They gave me the freedom to kind of choose what I wanted to do. Um, I was always pretty good at math. So, uh, economics came pretty easy to me and, uh, it wasn't a ton of writing in school, which was good because I wanted to focus my time on playing golf and not doing a ton of homework and writing essays. So it worked out. <laughs> cool. You turned professional in 2017. In 2020, you won LECOM Sun Coast Classic on the Corn Ferry Tour. What were your feelings then? Yeah, yeah, that was that was very exciting. Um, that was my third season on the Corn Ferry Tour and uh, that was kind of the first year where I had full status going into that and, and knew that I was going to be playing the whole season there. Um, so I, I kind of felt like that was my first good chance of making it to the PJ Tour and then came out very early in that season and, and won a tournament. And uh, yeah, that was huge. That was huge for my career. Um, of course, then COVID hit like directly after that, like a month later, and that kind of uh, derailed things for a little bit. But um, yeah, that, that was, that's my only, you know, major professional win in a PGA sanctioned event. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's still one of the coolest, um, experiences I've ever had on a golf course. You currently play on the PGA tour. What kind of, of organization is this and what strong competitors are there today? Uh, well, I guess an easy way to explain it is it is the premier tour in the world. I know uh, Live Golf Tour has, you know, started coming in, just trying to disrupt it. And they've taken a lot of good players. Um, but I think when you look at the format, um, the history, the legacy of the PGA Tour, I, I think it's the premier golf tour in the world. Um, we still have a ton of good players. Scotty Scheffler, uh, Xander Shoffley, jo uh, Jordan Spieth, Justin Thomas, Patrick Cantley. There's still so many top players. 
um, on our tour. And, uh, you know, I, I think we're still the pinnacle of the sport. Now only 29 years old, 69's FedEx, you have earned over $3 million in prize money. You definitely have a very impressive career. What is the secret and what advices could you give to novice golfers? Yeah, uh, the biggest thing with golf is there is a direct um, link between basically the work you put in and what you're going to get out of it. Uh, just because you work hard doesn't mean you're definitely going to play well that week or something. But if you put the work in over time, it will show up um, eventually. So uh, for me, I kind of got started in the game a little later than some people. So I've always had to work hard just to kind of catch up. I've always been chasing in golf. Uh, when I started playing, all the junior golfers were better than me. So I had to play well to catch up to them. And then, you know, I got to college golf and I kind of had to play well to catch up to them because they were all better than me. They played more than me. Then I got to professional golf. I kind of had to figure that out and, and guys were beating me and I had to, you know, progress. But uh, the thing for me is I, I've always worked hard and I, I've always continued that upward trend. I've gotten better and better every year. I haven't hit my ceiling yet. Uh, I, I don't know what my ceiling is. Uh, I'm just going to keep working and uh, keep getting better. And uh, I'm excited to see where it ends up because because I really don't know. Um, working hard is kind of all I know with the golf. And um, golf doesn't really owe you anything. But if you work hard enough, sometimes it kind of pays you off. Great. What are your hobbies and what music do you enjoy listening to? Uh, hobbies wise, I'm just a big sports guy in general. So watching a lot of sports, it's anything, uh, football, basketball, soccer, well, football, probably for, for y'all, um, anything, baseball season just started here, hockey. I mean, it's, it's literally anything. So if I'm on the road somewhere playing a tournament, uh, I'll get to some sort of sporting event or be watching something. And then music wise, I'm kind of, I'm a little bit all over the place. A lot of rock, definitely some rap. Um, a little bit of EDM stuff. I kind of bounce around. My wife tries to get me into country music a bit. I'm still kind of on the fence there. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's kind of all over. I can appreciate a lot of different music. Cool. And right now I will sing you a Ukrainian song to introduce you to Ukrainian music. And I also, Perfect. you've also mentioned that you have Polish roots, I think. Mm -hmm. my, my dad's side of the family is Polish. That's where we get Novak from. Uh, yeah, because my surname is also Novak. And uh, do you, by the way, do you speak Polish or do you know some words? I know I know a few words, just what my grandmother's taught me. Um, <laughs> I don't know if a few of those words are appropriate, so I'm not going to really repeat some of them. But, okay. Yeah. Okay, but uh, this song which I'm going to perform right now, uh, not a whole song, but uh, basically it is a Ukrainian song, but it also is translated in Polish language. So I will sing you like the first part in Ukrainian and then the second one in Polish. Uh, to be honest, I'm, al I'm also not really good at Polish, but I kind of know some words. So, and okay. for this song I learned it. So, all right, let's start. Hey, this там де чорні води, сів на коня козак молодий, плаче молода дівчина, їде козак з України. Hey, 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 соколи, оминайте гори ліси доли, звін, звін, звін. Звіночку, степа вижай вороночку, гей, 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 соколи, оминайте гори ліси доли, дзвін, 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 дзвіночку, мій степовий дзвін, дзвін, дзвін. Жаль, жаль за дівчину, за жильону Україну. Жаль, жаль, серце плаче, юж є вянці, не зобаче. Гей, 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 соколи, оміяйче гори ласи доли. Дзвонь, 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 дзвонечку, мій степовий сковронечку. Гей, 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 соколи. Омияче горила сидови, дзвон, 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 дзвонечку, мой степовий дзвон, дзвон, дзвон. Nice, you have a beautiful voice. Thank I you. I can hear like the, the Polish switch, it's a little different 
little different sound of the words. Yeah, it's, it's actually really cool. Thank you. Yeah, and yeah. I actually yes, you can really hear the difference between these two languages. It's I, I don't really know Polish. I can't speak the words, but I know Pol what Polish words sound like when, when my grandparents would talk, and, and I can kind of pick yeah. up on the different little sound cues. Yeah. Yeah, just by hearing it. Yeah, I mm -hmm. absolutely agree with you. And also, if we talked like about Ukraine and also sports, so you said that you were interested in, so that you are interested in sports. Are there any sports people from Ukraine which you, for example, admire or you follow them? Yeah, I, I mean, I, nobody in my family really played golf, so... I think Tiger Woods sort of introduced me to the game because without him essentially <laughs> making golf cool, uh, I don't know if I would have been introduced to the game at a young age to where um, I played. Um, but, you know, it's, it is really cool playing on the PGA Tour now because there are guys like that that I've looked up to and now I get to play against them. You know, guys I've watched growing up playing and now it's weird just like, seeing them at the course and that's like a normal thing and uh it took a little bit getting used to but yeah it's it's really cool great so, so i want to thank you for this interview very much and thank you for joining me today and i wish you a further success in your career as and you get to your ceiling and maybe after the war hopefully we can meet you in Ukraine or maybe one day in America and play golf together. Yeah. And I think the Ukrainian Golf uh, Federation will be very happy to have you as a coach. Ukraine's put a, I don't know, I don't know of any top guys now, but I know they've got a kid, uh, a very good junior player that, that just came out, uh, Misha Golod. I, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but he just signed with the number one college team in the country, I think. So, there's definitely some good talent coming out of Ukraine, uh, golf-wise. Cool. And thank you. Thank you for saying this. And thank you very much again. Yeah. Thanks for having me on. Thank you. Bye. And have a great day. You too.